That's Fred Barzik at the piano. He's been a television producer director for over 50 years. Music has been a big part of his life. Oh, sorry about that. I, I'm not really a good piano player. Uh, you see, when I was this kid in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, I had convinced my parents that I needed a piano. I was going to be a great piano player. Well, somehow they scraped up $300 to get this old spinet. <laughs> and as soon as I moved here to Massachusetts, they sent it to me. I think they were trying to get it out of their life. My dad, he thought if, I, if he could just find the right piano teacher, that it, you know, it's, it would make a difference, but it never really did. I had this dog, Dinky howled every time I sat down at the piano. But when I got a job as a producer director at WGBH back in 1960, you know, all those piano lessons started to pay off. I, I started to do a whole bunch of shows called Piano Forte, single piano shows. I must have done a hundred of them. And I was able to tell my dad at long last those piano lessons had paid off. Back in 1964, I did a show with Pete Seeger, the folk singer. It was his tribute to his musical influence, Lead Belly. He called it Two Links of a Chain. Some of Lead Belly's best songs were work songs, but he had a hard time trying to explain to people up north how to, they were supposed to go because they couldn't see the work going on. And the work and the song really blended together. Let me show you what I mean. In old John, cross the water, water on his knee. In old John, cross the water on his knee. Let us so bow down, the Lord and face. The rising sun. I have an idea. It's a crazy idea. I'd like to try something if we could. This is a kind of a like a recital setup. If we shoot it this way for television, I don't think it's going to be as interesting. And this is me directing a program with Michael really Colgrass, an award-winning classical composer. The piano and the viola out of here. Everything out of here, in fact. And have Kathy enter all by herself. It's kind of lighting like it's very lonely, like the place is closed. Oh, I see what you're saying. And right. she comes in like with a raincoat on right. and her heels and right. like no one meets her. Right. See? And um, like she's just coming from her divorce settlement, you know, that sort of thing. <laughs> sorry, sorry about that. <laughs> and, um, and it's like a little... Uh, like a mini opera. Yeah, like a mini opera. Skyscrapers are the trees of the city, 1969. excerpts are what some French art critics have said were the very first video art created. They were called jazz images. In 1961, I convinced some WGBH engineers and camera operators to come in late at night and help me create a new way of broadcasting symphony concerts on TV. You know, not in the traditional way of cutting to the violins when they played, but something more visual, more interesting. I wanted to shake things up, so we took these short jazz pieces and created electronic visual interpretations. I showed them to the executive producer of the Boston Symphony telecast, hoping to change his approach. He just smiled, patted me on the back, and just went on doing it his way. This piece was created by Bill Coyne. 
Bill went on to be a TV director in New York City, but Bill's real claim to fame was the creation of a rock and roll band, KISS. Bill hired me to travel with the band for six weeks, directing TV cameras which projected close-ups of the band members so that the kids in the back rows could see. The last concert I did was in Madison Square Garden with ten cameras. I came up on camera one, which was in the pit, and all of a sudden the camera went flopping around. What happened? I yelled out. What happened? Somebody had thrown a beer can and hit my poor camera operator on the head. Fortunately, he wasn't hurt, and he got back up and did it. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you, that was the last time I ever did a rock and roll concert. And finally, ironically, 15 years after my attempt to persuade the Boston Symphony to try a different way of broadcasting their concerts, they commissioned a group of video artists to explore a new visual language. This is an excerpt by one of the most famous of the video artists, Nam Jun Paik. You know what? They just smiled, patted us on the back, and just went on doing it their way. <laughs>